Hi, good morning, welcome back to the channel The Caravan and Us. Well after last Saturday's escapade with, uh, I had quite a few jobs that I wanted to do. I didn't actually get, manage to do any of them apart from the clothes hangers, which wasn't a great result to be quite honest. Uh, so I'm back at the caravan this morning. Um, I've purchased a few other items to complete uh, the socket job uh, but just a quick reminder of what I am doing so I hope you can see that down here is those well the plug there and the aerial lead plug in there the cables go around the back and come out behind the center chest of drawers um, what I am wanting to do to save that and just to tidy things up to be quite honest and make it a bit more permanent is I've marked out on the um, on the sill here behind the chest of drawers uh, I'm gonna put a 230 socket and a 12 volt and aerial socket so I've, I've marked everything up I've got my centre marks for uh, for drilling and this is what I'm putting in this is the whole saw uh, 44 mil not sure how you pronounce that I presume it's air bower or air bow uh, 44 mil and it's the fitting bit B so that's the two hole drilled with the 44 mil. Uh, they are the correct spacing, um, which I will try and show you what I mean by the correct spacing. So when they're actually located in the hole, they need to be touching. Uh, now. So I got the correct spacing before I drilled. Use a little spacer tool. That just fits across there just get the correct spacing the reason you need the correct spacing or the spacing is crucial is so that when they're in fixed in that cover um, fits across there uh, so that is the only reason that they need to be uh, spaced correctly so the sockets are in place I've got the front chest of drawers out uh, un unscrewed the uh, sockets there and I've also I don't know if you will be able to pick this up on there I've spared the 12 volt off there and I'm gonna put an access hole through there which will come through into there run it up there and probably somewhere around about there will be the access uh, to enable me to hook it up to, well, to connect the uh, cables up to there. So first things first, I've got to strip these, the ends of these cables down, which is where this tool comes in absolutely spot on. Literally put them in. And that's it, you get them all uniform, absolutely spot on. So we've got the 230 socket wired up, I've shrink wrapped just the ends and I also, I always do it when I uh, cut wire down, uh, I've just put a cable tie on there, it just saves, if it's ever tugged on it just saves the uh, outer coating splitting. So that's the two sockets wired up in place and fixed, um, just ready to put the cover on and uh, wire up the other ends to the supplies. Now I've screwed them in, I always get these screws which are turbo drive and for putting these in I've got 3mm and the length is 20mm. Uh, they're not done tightly so they, they don't protrude through the other side. And that's the cover in place, I'm sure you'll agree. That's a tidy job, much better than the uh, the other solution that had been done to the caravan. 
that's the cables on the inside tied it up you can see they just go through the which is underneath the center chest of drawers and they just come out to there so I've just had to tidy up and the connections to make there to the supplies so whilst I was at doing that and I had the chest off the external aerial uh, come, came up through that hole that's the aerial that if you're on a super pitch with aerial hook up um, that's where the that goes to an external socket uh, so all I've done is just drill a hole there uh, feed it up through the back of the chest and it will uh, well it'll just sit on there so just neatens things up really so that's it the centre chest is back in these sockets and face plates now reinstated we're all hooked up to the supply that's the new socket and the location which as you can see is literally straight at the back of the chest of drawers and the front window uh, we're all hooked up under there a bit of cable ties uh, to put into there I think uh, just to neaten it up one thing well, the previous owners of the caravan that's where they used to plug in here and an extension went through there aerial through into there and through the other hole so I've got those holes that I need to tidy up to use oops, to use a 40 mil uh, vent cover um, now if I show you one there that's the one at the top of the wardrobe and the fires at the bottom of the wardrobe this is a perfect match so now I do have two I'm not too sure if I'm going to put one over there as well just to even it out um, but I'm certainly that's something I can do later if need be but I am certainly going to put one there so I'll do that now whilst I've got all my tools at the caravan so it's the same type of hole saw that I'm using it's just a 40 mil hole saw as opposed to a 44 which I used for the socket that looks much neater than it does with the two holes I know it shouldn't really have a vent there um, but it's better than just having two holes in the woodwork so I'm, I'm more than happy with that so job well done well that's it all done I'm tidied up um, neatened off all the cables uh, can't test the 230 because we haven't got hook up here at the caravan storage so that's gonna have to wait until we go away again in the next couple of weeks which is to the old station yard at Massam in North Yorkshire uh, hope you enjoyed that video uh, it was supposed to be brought to you on Saturday but I have to say I was ill prepared to do the job thought I'd got everything but I really hadn't and I've, I've ended up doing a few other little bits as well so it's all been good tidied a few bits up put that air vent in which is a uh, cracking little bit um, but yeah thank you very much indeed for watching hope it was of use for somebody uh, one person if it helps them absolutely spot on thank you again bye <laughs>